Hello, everybody. Sorry, we're a little late. Welcome to the Make Code Arca Arcade Advanced Stream. I'm Richard. I'm Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Shannon at Chicago on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Vivian at Live Chief on the Make Code Forum. And uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, I have just the thinnest of plans. The thinnest. I didn't. Well, I didn't want to work on Metroidvania today because I've been using the Metroidvania game for testing and. Um, I'm just a little bit tired of it right now, but we'll come back to work on that game. I do like that game, so we're gonna we're gonna um, work on that at some point. But I was like, I want to make a game about making breakfast. Are you eating breakfast now? No, um, well, no, not really. Uh huh. But I think that what I want to do is I think it's gonna be like a multitasking game, and we're gonna have an egg scrambling component, okay, a sausage mm -hmm. cooking component. And then we need one other thing. Pancakes. Oh, Shannon. No, Shannon has something. Go. Pancakes is good. I was going to say orange juice squeezing, but pancakes look orange, orange juice. juice. I don't like orange don't juice. Like. I'm going to go with pancakes. We've talked about We've this talked before. About. I've never heard this before. You absolutely have. I also don't think I've heard this before. I know I've I mentioned know. it to one of the two of you, yeah. for sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was Maybe me. Let's talk about how orange juice makes me drink too much of it and then I throw up. Yeah, do you have headphones? <laughs> I'm going to try restarting my computer. <laughs> okay. Bye, Shannon. We'll miss you. Mm hmm. Um, all right. So. I think we're going to have three mini games. We're going to have pancakes, we're going to have sausages, and we're going to have um, uh, egg scrambling. So I, have, I, I think I know what the pancake game is going to be. It's pretty simple, right? You just need to flip it, right, until both sides are brown. So um, the other two games we have, um, let's see. So for scrambled eggs, I have an idea. Um, mm -hmm. But for sausages, what should that game be like? Like what the sausage task is? Yeah. Maybe so you, have you, a, gotta... you have a pan with sausages in it. Yeah, you gotta, like, I, I'm, the way I have sausages is I cut the thing into little discs, and you gotta cook it, and then you gotta flip all of the little discs. Okay. Okay. So we got two flipping games. That's all the right. Pancake, the pancake is one big flip, though. This is a, you gotta know which ones to flip. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So let's uh, let's um, uh, start out with the easiest one of these, which is probably going to be the pancake, I think. So we need some way to well, I guess let's actually start out with drawing a frying pan because we're gonna need we're gonna need some frying pans. So um, let's go ahead. We're gonna go into um, a scene. We're gonna set the background color. What should the background color be? I don't really get the perspective of this game yet. So top down, top down. Top down. Oh, tan. Okay. Or pink. Yeah, no, we'll do tan. Or yellow because it's the morning. Those are. <laughs> All right. Um, and we're going to do a um uh an image now, a big old sprite that's going to be our frying pan. So let's go ahead. We're going to make this basically the size of the screen. And um, I don't think this. Sprite is going to be um, like important for like collisions and stuff. We just want it to look like a frying pan. Ooh. So, okay, first thing we want to do is a circle. Thank you, Vivian. <laughs> it was a very nice looking circle. <laughs> All right, we'll do another circle kind of like around it. Uh huh. Ah. Do like the rim of the pan. Sure, sure. Uh, this is a cast iron pan, of course. We only use the best. I'm too uh, scared to buy a cast iron pan. It seems like a yeah. lot of commitment. Yeah. It, it is. Um, as someone who had to, you know, my our job, our my brother and I's job in the dinner making department was always like washing up afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. Um. And so it was always like, oh my gosh, are we going to mess up mom's extremely expensive, nice cast iron bands? Yeah. My brother has a cast iron pan and like I watched him use it once. And after he washed it, he like put 
it back on the stove and add some more oil. Yeah, it's to season it. Yeah, I'm just like, that's that's way too much work for me. It is a lot of work. And you can't use soap on it. You have to just, like, do it with hot water, which would be okay for something that you don't constantly put greasy things in. Mm-hmm. But for a frying pan, it's kind of uh, tough, you know? I feel like it's very considerate of you guys to be concerned about messing up the, the pan. I feel like that's typically it's just like, who cares? Just wash it, you know? Especially when you're a kid. So. Yeah, I just feel it's very nice. Good kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't own something that I can't wash in my dishwasher. I'm too lazy. Yeah. I've only recently started using the dishwasher, but, man, it makes your life better. Yeah, this is my first apartment in a while that's had a dishwasher. And I just save so much time not washing dishes by hand. It's a real yeah. real game changer. All right, so we got our frying pan. We're going to go ahead and fill that in. And we're going to give it a handle now. So I'm just going to go like off like this and curve around a little bit. Come back down. That's bad. That didn't go well. Yeah, something bad happened to your cast iron pan. <laughs> All right. That's probably we're just going to, yeah, we're going to use the, the straight line tool. Come out like Today's this. Today's all about the tools. Yep. And then we're going to fill this in. Nope. Hey. I went to the art supply store this weekend. I was mm -hmm. getting some new paints because I wanted to try out some fancy acrylics. And then I was checking out and I was asking the checkout guy if he thought my supplies were good. You know, because the whole point, because I have like cheap acrylics, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure I can't come back. What? Why not? He says it keeps on crashing. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Anyway, I was about checking out. I was asking him, what do you think about these supplies? Are they good supplies? And he's like, you know what they say? It's about the photographer, not the camera. And I'm like, okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy wasn't, that wasn't the nicest thing to say. That's okay, but Richard, this is going to, we're going to prove that it's really about the, the pan and not the cook. <laughs> yep, that's what we're here for, frying pad. Okay. <laughs> so um, what we want to do now is we want to have a pancake that gets put onto this frying pan, right? It's going to start out white, then it's going to turn tan, then it's going to turn brown. And I don't want it to do it, I want it to do it unevenly. Okay, so I think the idea is we're going to like take blobs and just draw them onto it of the different colors to indicate how, you know, like cooked it is. Does that make sense? This is for the pancake. This is for the pancake. Ah, oh, okay. So the idea is going to be that it will start out white and then as it's like getting cooked, when you flip it over, because you know how when you flip it over, it's not an even color. You're often, you get like little, like basically big kind of sections of, oh, sorry, do you make pancakes perfectly? Richard, I think it's the way you're pouring your batter onto your pan. If you pour it in one stream, it's even. Are you putting your pancake batter like this? Sorry, so your, your pancake is perfectly even. It's just a perfect solid color. At least it radiates from the place, you know? Do you want me to go make a pancake right now? Yes. Okay, I will. Yeah. How okay. Long would, how long? How long would it take you to make a pancake? Not that long. You just make the batter and cook it. Okay. Yeah. Go make a pancake. Okay. I will look up a pancake batter recipe. <laughs> this is great. Um, usually we're just about coding and art and art coding. But today we're also about making pancakes. <laughs> And it's really win-win because Vivian gets to eat a pancake. That's true. Let me find a user recipe. All right. Okay. So we're going to make a, um, I guess we'll just make a, um, 
uh, a render pancake function. So we're going to go into um, extensions and we're going to add a classic extension. J one dural slash arcade. Right. Hi, Shannon. Are you there? Get in. Hello. Yes. Hey. Yes. yes. Okay. I heard up to Vivian um, agreeing to go make a pancake. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> Vivian's going to make a pancake, which is just the best way this stream could have gone. Mm -hmm. Um. And we're going to make oh, the pancake. She's going to make a pancake on screen. Oh my Hi. god, this is great. <laughs> Richard, I think you should um, race. Who can make a pancake faster? Sorry, let me let me spotlight um, Vivian. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're we're much tinier now, and Vivian, you have the main stage. Oh my gosh, that's too much pressure, isn't it? Do you want me to no. undo it? Do it. No, it's okay. Undo it. Oh, are they gonna see the pancake? Um, okay, so while well, that's happening, let's get back to our. Um, come on, teams, make the little toolbar go away. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, we're gonna get back to making our pancake game. So um, we wanted uh, the reason I added the sprite utils function was because I wanted to grab this render on Z index, um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, render a pancake. So we're going to need some variables. The first variable I think is going to be like, um, let's see, we have two sides to the pancake, right? So we're going to have um, pancake side one time. And then we're going to have a pancake side two time. And the idea is, we're going to use these two things to track how long our pancake has been cooking on each side. Um, and then using that time, we're going to render the color. We're going to change the, the rendering color based on what we're doing. Um, so let's go ahead now. We're going to um, uh, first, let's, let's just get a pancake drawing to the screen. So we're going to go into the images category. Um, oh, sorry, actually, we need sprite utils for this too. I'm gonna get this. Uh, sorry, we want to fill circle. Shannon, when you make pancakes, are they perfectly like even? Pancakes. Even color? Um, pancakes are bad, guys. Whoa, hot takes. Waffles and crepes are both better, and uh, no one's saying that that's not pancakes. true because that is true. <laughs> But What's Shannon's doesn't like pancakes. Would you prefer? Crepes or waffles. Mm-hmm. Oh. Pancakes are good. Have you tried pancakes toasted in the toaster oven? I haven't. I just don't like the middle part of a pancake, I think. You guys have the part? wildest taste in food. That's my taste. <laughs> I like pancakes sometimes when they're made when they're not made. <laughs> I like pancakes when they're not made with um, bisquick. I don't like bisquick pancakes. That's fair, right? I don't like any okay. pancakes, so I think you're right about this. <laughs> um, okay, so the idea is we're going to be um, doing our pancake in the center of this pan. It's going to just be white. Then when you flip it. Um, if it's cooked enough, it's going to turn tan, um, and then it's going to turn a lovely um, brown. Is probably too much, right? No, that's pancake colored. Yeah, that's pancake colored. Um, so I think you we need it tan. Although it well, must blend into the. If it's tan, then what's it going to go to? Brown. No, or just were you going to do straight brown? It could do tan, that light purple, and then brown. Orange? Yeah, orange. To brown? And then, bra and then brown is perfect. Oh, yeah. OK, I could see that. Yeah. And then purple is too far? Yeah. Good. OK, 
So. <laughs> it does look like a burnt pancake. Mm -hmm. So, um, we have our pancake side one time, we have our pancake side two time. Let's go ahead and make another variable, which is what's going to be, um, which side is up. So we're going to do pancake side one is up. And we're going to start this one off as true. All right. So um, what we need to do now is we need to um, use this variable to increase the time for both of our pancakes. So we want to make sure that we um, are just increasing the time, whichever side is currently up, um, and we'll choose some time to be the perfect amount of time. Um, but for oh, now, Richard, this is backwards, though. The side that's cooking is the downside. Oh, you're right. It should start out as false. <laughs> Let's just remove that ambiguity. No, 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 no. So let's just do is showing, right? Okay, so pancake side one is showing because we're going to be using this to render whichever one is up. Um, all right, so what we need to do now is we need to add some time um, to this one. Every frame, we want it to basically go up in time. And so the easiest way to do that, I think, is, let's see, do we have a, um, we can just use an on-game update every. So this won't be perfect timing. It'll be off a little bit because these are not guaranteed to run every 100 milliseconds perfectly. But it'll be pretty close. Like, I don't think anyone's going to be able to tell the difference. Um, Fish Chase and chat says, can't have pancake ambiguity, which I agree with. I, yep. Mm -hmm. um, Shannon doesn't like pancakes, but she hates ambiguous pancakes. Worst kind of pancake. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, we're going to do um, a change, and we're going to do the pancake two side time, and we're going to change it by 100. Otherwise, we will change the pancake side one time by 100. And now what we're going to do is we need to decide what our pancake times are. Um, any ideas? Should this be linear or? Um, I feel like, I mean, I feel like the fun thing is there's a very, very long ramp up period and a small good zone and then um, yeah, it gets burned. I agree. <laughs> I agree. So, and we're going to have multiple mini games going on, so we can make this go for a while because you could be going on and doing something else. So um, I think maybe what we'll do is we'll just specify a total pancake time and the other two times will be ratios on that time. So we can tweak it if we want for debugging and stuff. So no, no more comment. We're going to get rid of our comment. We're going to make a variable, which is going to be total take time in pan. Um, Great and, set of uh, variables so far. Yeah, right? Um, OK, so we're going to uh, set this to be, we'll start with like five seconds just for testing. It'll need to be longer than that, but for now, this will be good. All right. And now what we want to do is we're going to go into here, and we are going to um, see if our pancake side one is showing. And if it is, then we are going to change the color based off of what um, the state of pancake side one is. Otherwise, we're going to do it based off the state of what pancake side two is. Um, so let's make a variable, which is going to be current pancake color. Um, all right, so that's going to be a number. And we want to set our um, numbers for these colors that we have. Um, so to start out, if it's less than, let's say, Let's say it's like 70% is raw. Then you have 30% where it's like getting there. Or like 20% where it's like getting there. 
and then 10% where it's perfect. And then after that, it's burnt. Does that sound good? Yeah, that seems good to me. Okay. So we're going to go into here. We're going to do some comparisons. And some math. And so if the pancake one side, pancake side one time is less than our total cake time in pan times 0.7, then we want our color to be tan. Um, so can you can you note down these colors? Jen? Yes. Tan is 13. Brown is 14. Orange is four. All right, so we're going to set our current pancake color to tan, which is 13. Otherwise, if it is less than this times 0.9, then we want to set our pancake color to be orange, which is four. four? Next one is going to be is less than total pancake time in pan. And this one's going to be 14. 14. And then the last one is we didn't get the color for. <laughs> Probably 15. Yeah. Well, I think it's 12. No, 15 is black, right? So oh, these yes, are in order. Right. So that, that should be 12. Uh, right there. And this one goes here, so 12. No, not two. You mm -hmm. don't want a pink pancake. Uh, I'm sorry, a red pancake. That's red. Hi, Vivian. How's it going? Vivian, tell us what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't waiting to you guys for the record. I was waiting to fish and dabble. But I've combined all the ingredients. Now I'm mixing it together. There are some lumps. I'm trying to decide if I want to ignore the lumps or not. Probably OK, right? It's probably not the baking powder clumping together. You put baking yeah. powder in your pancake? What do you put in your pancakes? Pancake mix. <laughs> OK, <laughs> like disclaimer, this is not how I would normally make pancakes. Normally, I would use egg whites and fluff that up and then get really fluffy pancakes. But I thought that'd be a bit too excessive for this. So I just did a regular pancake mix. Yeah, I'm that's gonna, fair. Yeah. I'm going to go test out my pans to see if any of them will work over here. Be right back. All right. Um, OK, so we've got our basic thing going. Um, now what we need to do is we need to be able to flip our pancake. And I'm not going to feel good unless we do a fun animation. How are we going to do that, Shannon? Sorry, I was replying to a thing in chat. Um, a fun flip animation. I think you could. We have no draw ellipse function, right? Nope. You might just have to. Mm, and you're drawing to okay. screen. So mm -hmm. I, could, I could do an animation where I just draw it, right? Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we make one side pink, one side red, and then we just swap them with whichever side it should be. Right. Change the colors. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I mean, let's, let's... well, okay. So you could, I mean, you can at least make the circle go smaller um, programmatically. I guess it should get That's bigger true. because it's coming towards the camera. That's true. Yeah, it should get bigger. Um, what if you okay. cut to a vertical view uh, of? <laughs> so I think we can get by without too many frames, but I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to draw something. But we'll make it rough, and it'll happen fast, mm -hmm. so it won't, it won't yeah. look that bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, ugh, I'm getting a, a phone call on Teams. One second. I got one there this go. morning from Florida. Um, this one was from Washington. Okay, 
So um, let's go ahead. We're going to do our flipping animation. Um, and uh, to do that, we're going to need to draw a sprite. So we're going to go over here. We're going to make it a little bit bigger than our pancake. So let's see, what was the radius we did on our pancake? Oh, let's definitely not put that inside of the render. Let's see, we have a radius of 30. So we want to make it at least 60 by 60, but we want to go a little bit bigger. Um, so actually, let's just go straight to doing an animation because we're going to have to. Um, so let's make this 80 is too big. We'll do 70 by 70. All right, we're going to make a circle now. So let's go ahead and just Good enough. I'll fill that in. Make it pink so we can see it better. Um, all right, and so what we're going to do, this is going to be fun, um, is we're going to make some frames of it flipping. So I want to do like three frames of it going to the center, and then we can just reverse those frames for the other side. All right, so for this next one, we're going to go ahead and just make a new frame. We're going to turn on this wonderful feature um, onion skinning. Um, and this will show us our previous frame. And so what we want to do is we want to make an ellipse. It's basically just slightly narrower. Vivian, I cannot know. believe you have a portable burner thing. I'm ready for cooking stream. Um, yeah. Shannon, Vivian wouldn't say she was going to make a pancake unless she knew that she could, you know? Oh, my gosh. I thought she what? was going to make it in the kitchen and then show us. Oh. Well, no, Vivian's this more better. Than... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. My mouse is being a jerk. Look at this. What's it doing? What is it doing? I don't know how to fix this. Let me unplug it and plug it back in. Oh, that fixed it. All right. Oh, man. I don't have enough space on my desk to make this look nice. So we're going to do this with the line tool. Desperate times kind of call for desperate measures. <laughs> and then we'll just we'll just kind of smooth it out a bit. All right. Now pro tip. Copy paste. Do a flip. Put it over there. Also flip vertically. And then there we go. Um, so now we'll just seal this, seal this baby up. Pancake baby. And fill that in. And there we go. OK, so we need to do um, the next frame now. We're going to do one more. We're going to turn on our preview again. Oh, sorry, we can just see that on. Um, this time we want it to be actually like even thinner. So we're going to do like that. Oh, boy, real rough. <laughs> It's okay. It's like it's got. It's. I think it's like it's got torque. What's the word? It's rolling in the air. I think that is torque, probably. Something. Turbulence. Pancake turbulence. Pancake turbulence. Mm -hmm. Um. Which, if you've ever made a pancake, you know, is is a very real concern. Absolutely. Do you flip your pancakes like with the pan in the air? Um. No, I use a spatula. Oh. Okay. Baby, are I... you going to flip it with the pan in the air? This pan before. I can give it a go after the first few. <laughs> but I've done it. I've flipped it before I, with the pan. Oh. Give it a go. Um, OK, I think we need one more frame. So let's go ahead and do plus. We're going to, whoops. 
make it real thin on this one. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got our basic thing going. Um, what we need to do now is we need to shade one side. So we want to shade it so that it looks like it's it's like flipping over, turning from one side to the next. So for this first one, um, I, I think we don't actually want to do anything um, because it's just kind of like flipping right now. For this next one, what I'm imagining is that the left side is coming towards you. All right. So I'm going to use red as my shading color. So I'm going to just go ahead and do a little bit like this. Fill that in. Um, and so it kind of looks like a disc now, right? So maybe I should do like a, just a little bit for this one. Just kind of like that. It's going to take me forever to do this. <laughs> All right, good enough, good enough. Oops. Oh. Good enough. Okay, so we got that. Then it's like going to this, and so you can see it's kind of like turning around. Then it's going to go to this one where it's going to be like a lot of red, right? Oh, I don't think you need. This also looks good, though. I think it looks good, right? Yeah, it makes it look like a chunky pancake. Oh, <laughs> but that's fun. Yeah. And just imagine it's like animation, like motion lines. <laughs> I think it'll make you make you feel better about the whole thing. Um, OK, so now this one we want to be like half and half. Um, OK, and so now what we want to do is we want to duplicate these frames. And for each of these, we're going to do um, a flip, basically. Or rather, oops, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Yeah, I want to flip them in both directions so that it looks a little less uniform. So we're going to go down here. We're going to do Shift H, Shift V. Yeah, if you didn't know, the flip commands are, are Shift H and Shift V. So you can do it with very fast with your keyboard. Is the pan smoking, Vivian? I can't see. <laughs> Is there there is there a Twitch stream of the year? And um, has anyone entered us yet? <laughs> it's smoking a lot. The first one's very burnt. <laughs> and I think it's the temperature was on too high. But the second one, it's the lowest it can go. So hopefully it's mm. better. OK. Oh, whoops. All right, so what we want to do now to make this complete is we're going to, for our um, pancake, we need to reverse the colors because it's flipping up until that middle frame that we have. So um, what we want to do here is we're going to just choose an intermediary color, and we're going to swap all of the red to be this orange color. Oops. And that's because we can't swap the red and pink because we're about to swap all of the pink to be red. And we're going to change all this to be red. I think this is turning out better. I mean, I, I think we need to see it animated, but I think it's turning out okay. It's gonna look great. All right. How is it, Vivian? Vivian is taste testing her pancake. It's a little burnt. Can you hear the stove sound? Mm-mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, little this burnt. This pretty good. Oh my God, Richard, wow. Yeah, it's skipping frames for me, but I think that's my computer. I've been having Teams issues. Okay, I think it looks pretty smooth on on, on the stream. So our new setup cool. is when I do stream, I stream it from my streaming computer. So I think the frames um, look much better on, on Twitch than they do on the Teams call. All right, cool. The only thing is I might I might just like, this this one frame is particularly angular. So I might um, just move that out a little bit. All right, cool. 
Okay, so what we want to do is we want to, um, uh, when we do the flip, we're going to um, set this at uh, this sprite at our position. So we're going to go into this on a button press. We're going to um, set my sprite to be at this position. So we have a, um, we know exactly what position we're making our circle at. It's 9862. So we want it to be centered there. Um, yeah, we're not gonna have time to do the other mini games. I want to come back to this game, but for now we're just gonna be this is just gonna be a pancake game today. But it's gonna look it's gonna look good. Vivian, have you finished any pancakes yet? We didn't eat a pancake. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're muted, you're muted. Vivian. I don't know what mutes and unmutes. Um, I've made two so far. They're kind of dark. Okay. I noticed that there's like a back. there's like a few splotches of different colors throughout the pancake. What? I, I noticed that there's like a few different colors going on. Like maybe there's been circles of different colors drawn onto the pancake. <laughs> like <laughs> me, I'm gonna get a perfect pancake, Richard. Don't just you wait, maybe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You did say that there were lumps in the batter, which is not the usual for Vivian can pancake batter. That's true. I wonder why it's not smooth today. Okay, yep, so we can now go ahead and oh, all right, let's we need to make this so that's this it's the right size to start. So we'll make this seventy by seventy. And then we'll do, there we go, okay. So um, our Z index, what, did you do a flip? I flipped it. You, should, you have to announce these Vision. things. Vivian, right? I was watching I Richard flip. It and jinx it. I'll, be, I'll flip it again once it's cooked. It'll be easier the second time. Okay. Hey. <laughs> At least we have a recording. <laughs> That's true. Someone clip that, please. Um, <laughs> Um, all right, so we're going to make a variable which is going to be called um, pancake is a flipping. Oh, <gasps> it, it did it. Stop. Wait, no, it, it, it's, it's easier with the cooked pancake. The first one was was raw, still half raw. Mm. So. All right, so we, we have this variable pancake is a flipping. And we're going to um, go ahead and inside of here, we're going to check this before we start doing our thing. So we only want to we only want to do our pancake flipping thing if pancake is already is not already a flipping. Oh, this one's good. Um, oh man, it's too bad Joey's not here. Remind me to give Vivian fifty gold stars tomorrow for, for <laughs> pancake. Yeah, good being a good sport and making pancakes. <laughs> um, all right. So when this happens, we're going to go ahead and set this variable to be true. And we need to use the timers extension now because we're going to be doing some stuff that we need to do some pausing for. So I'm going to go down to extensions. I'm going to go ahead and add the timers extension. There it is. We need to come up with a cute little icon for this extension. All of our other extensions that have cute little images, you know? This one's just like the blocks. It should be easy. Also the so times. many things are timers. Time. Yeah, we gotta related. we gotta do bunch both of these. Um okay. So when we're do when our pancake is a flipping, we're gonna do a um uh, inside of our timer, we're gonna do a separately do. Put this all in here. Well, actually, we want the pancake to flip in to be outside. Um, the reason why is because um, you want to uh, make sure that while it's flipping, um, it like, uh, I'm sorry, it'll, it'll take a second before this runs. So we need to make sure that we, we actually make it in time. Um, all right. So um, uh, down here at the bottom of this function, because I don't want to forget, we're going to set this to be false. 
And now inside here, we want to actually um, uh, do a pause so that we can time when we have finished. Um, so we need to know how many frames we have. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten frames. That's actually really nice um, because we can just multiply by ten. All right, we should make this animation a bit faster, right? I believe you. I, I can't see it from my, but. Yeah, it's also kind of hard to, oh, right, right, because the frame rate's bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a pause for 50 times um, uh, 100, I'm sorry, 50 times 10 which is 500 milliseconds. And then at the end of this, we want to destroy our sprite. So I'm gonna to go to here, I'm going to do a destroy. And the whole reason we did this pancake is a flippin is because we are going to go into here and we're gonna make sure that we don't draw this if the pancake is a flippin. All right, let's see this go. All right. It's so fast. Huh? Well, that's what a flip is all about, right? Oh, no, no. It definitely, I'm sure it looks great on, um, and I think it is my computer. I just see like a middle frame and then it's flipped already. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, okay. So we've got this going now, but we what we want to do is we want to make sure that we um, uh, have our two colors and we want to change all of the frames in this animation to be the correct colors for the top and the bottom, because we're all about realism for this game. Um, so what we need to do is we need to, um, I think let's, let's take this and we're going to make a function. Which is going to be get pancake color. And it's going to take in a number, which is going to be time on side. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this statement, put it out here. And I go ahead and go into here. We're going to change this to be time on side. Um, and then we're going to change all of these to be returns. So for this first one, we want to do a return 13. The next one, we want to do a return 4. Next one, we want to do return 14. And this next one, we want to do return 12. And we can get rid of all these variables now. Nice. Is that syrup or berry compost? It's a berry syrup. Ooh. I gave it to me. I like it a lot. Beautiful. That's cool. Vivian, I think you should play your pancakes and then show us. Yeah. What am I going to do with all these pancakes, guys? It's too many. <laughs> and I still have a little bit of it left. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, this, this would have been better if we were doing an in-person stream today. We do need a test kitchen for our stream setup. That's true. Very cool. How's the game going? I haven't really been paying attention. OK, you want to see? <laughs> yeah. All right, flip, 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 flip. <laughs> that looks so good. Yeah, we're doing the colors right now, though. Oh. Um, so what we want to do is we need to get our um, pancake color for side one and side two. And we need to flip all of the colors in those frames. So we're going to um, uh, put this. This is this actually returns an array. So we're going to make a pancake frames variable. We're going to set our pancake frames right here. We're going to go ahead and put our pancake frames back in this block so that it stops yelling at us. And we're now going to do a for of loop. Um, 
And so um, we're going to loop over all of the frames in our, oh, my mouse is messing up again. Okay, I know how to fix it now. There we go. What a weird thing to have happen to a mouse. Okay, so we have either side one is currently up um, or side two is currently up, right? Where is that? There we go. So we want to um, do the color swapping based off which of these is true. And so let's see, we start out pink. So if pancake side one is showing, then we want to switch pink to be the side one color. Otherwise we want to switch it to be the side two color. So we're going to go through each of these frames. We're going to go into images. We're going to do a Shannon's favorite block. Color swap. Color swap. And we're going to switch pink to um, the side one color. So let's go ahead and call our function. And we want to put in our side one time. And then we want to do red and we want to switch that to our side two time. And now what we want to do is the opposite here. So we need to change this to be our side one time. We need to change this to be our side two time. And um, that should be good. Now, the last thing we need to do is I just realized we forgot to change which side is up. So we need to do that. So we're going to set um, which side is up right now to be not whatever it is. So this will just flip it. Um, and then the last thing is we want to make sure that we are not cooking. We are a flipping. Um, okay, so I think this should just like work now. So we just need to like wait a bit. Flip. Oh, that didn't work. Hmm. Element value of list. Element value of list. Oh. Thank you, Shan. Shan also gets a gold star. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so right now it's a pretty boring flip because they're the same color. So we're going to wait a bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Hey. Well. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely, we're definitely too long on this. Like, I mean, I'm too short at a time for, for, for this game. I think that's safe yeah. to say. Um, it needs a little bit bigger. Of, oh, yeah, if you make the total time bigger, then the happy zone will also be bigger. So that's... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Wow. Nice. Oh. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Oh, cool. Um, so um, we've got our basic our basic pancake code. Um, one other cute thing I want to do, though, is that when we do a flip, I want the frying pan to move. Mm. So we're going to do um, a little animate on our frying pad. I forgot <laughs> I named it that. We're going to do a custom animation. Um, and we're going to start with a, I recently want it to move diagonal to the upper left and then diagonal back to where it was. Right? Oh, mm -hmm. So we're just going to do like L, which is line two. Then we want to change, we want to do our change in X, which I'll do negative 10, and our change in Y, which I'll do negative like 15. So it's not like perfectly. No, wait, it should be the other way around. It should be negative 15, negative 10, because it's not, it's not at a 45 degree angle. Um, and then we just want to do the opposite. So we'll just do L15, 10, and we will set this to be like 200 milliseconds. Yeah, that looks okay. It looks, it looks really good. <laughs> Richard, I, I thought the pancake animation looked good. 
through the teams, but then I saw the stream, and it looks really good. Awesome. So. <laughs> okay, this pancake game is turning out better than I could have hoped. Um, and I'm really excited to do the scrambled egg game. I have a fun idea for the scrambled egg game. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of circles that are white and yellow, right? And then um, as you, like, whisk it with a fork, they're going to, like, subdivide. Oh. You know? And so you want to do it until it's all, like, nice and, and um, you know, whisked together, all mixed together. And then we'll do the, the frying thing. And it'll be, like, um, moving around a fork and just trying to corral them all to the center. Can it be a spatula? A fork might scratch your pan. <laughs> That's a good idea. We'll make it a spatula. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I hope you guys are are into Breakfast Olympics because that is what <laughs> this game is probably going to be called, and um, we're going to be working on this quite a bit, I think. <laughs> who doesn't like breakfast? No one. Silence. All right. I don't like that the pancake is the same color as the background, so let's make the background a different color. Yellow for morning. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Yeah, I like it. OK, so we've got some time left. Um, we need to make it so that we can serve our pancake. So um, we want to, uh, uh, I think when you press B, we'll do serve. And so what I want to do is I want to make a plate come over, and then the pancake go onto the plate, and then the plate, like, shuffle off. That should be easy to do, right? How much time do we have Four left? Four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. Perfect. <laughs> um, okay. So let's go ahead. First, we're going to make our plate. So we want to make this, like, 80 by 80. Should be fine. We're going to make a big white circle. Actually, we're going to make a big blue circle. Because this is going to be a fancy china plate with, like, the blue outline. Did you guys have, you, have you guys seen plates like this? Um, that are, like, that are, like, white with the blue outline? I feel like everyone in my family had plates like this. I feel like I believe that there are plates like this. This is not read as suspicious to me. Okay. I don't know if I've, the, the light photons from the plate have <laughs> hit me though, you know? Gotcha. Shannon, do you find these plates suspicious? Um, I've seen these in like, you know, media, um, but not okay. from personal experience. The light photons. <laughs> um. Okay, so these are supposed to be like flowers that are going around the edge, but I can't draw this fast. I like that in the four minutes we have to do this, priority one is plate right. realism. Yes, <laughs> we've already spent 50% of the time on plate realism. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, we're, we're going to go with this for our plate. Um, and so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a um, I'm B button press. Go down here. We're going to copy this code. We're going to, um, inside of this separately do, we're going to make this new thing. We're going to put this down here. We're just going to keep using our pancake is a flippin um, because it works. Um, and we're going to animate this plate and then we're going to animate our pancake. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make our plate go to this location. So we're going to set our location and instead of using the Lowercase l, we're going to use uppercase l because that means go to an exact location on the screen. So that location should be 9862. Nice. Um, okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that there isn't actually a sprite for our pancake um, because we're going to, well, no, we don't need to do that actually. Um, okay. So we want to animate our my sprite 2, which is our plate. We want to go to this location over like one second. Um, we're going to pause for one second to let that happen. Then we're going to make a new variable, which is going to be pancake on plate. We're going to set pancake on plate to be true. Um, and then we're going to animate our 
plate away. So we're just going to do lower. Well, we'll just do V and we'll do 100. So it just goes away. <laughs> um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, go over here to our pancake drawing code. So inside of our render event. And what we're going to do is we're going to say if the pancake is on the plate. then we want to um, uh, fill at the location of our plate. So we're going to go ahead and get the X and the Y. We're going to make this our my sprite 2, which is our lovely named variable. Plate. Backwards? It's backwards, indeed. Um, and then uh, the last thing we need to do is, so I was reusing this pancake as a flipping variable. We actually want to do like pancake is a uh, serving. <laughs> um, and we're going to go to our B button press. We're going to change this to B. Um, if not, that's fine. We want to change this to be um, pancake is a serving. Um, and we're going to change this to be pancake as a servant also. Um, and then uh, I think that should do it. So there we go. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> One last clip. Right. <laughs> so, um, let's make it so our plate is off screen to start and then we'll we'll go because we've got we've got a meeting to go to. So um, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm Richard. At Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Shannon at Chacau on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Vivian at Live Cheerful on the Make Code Forum. This is the pancake I made. <laughs> and and resident pancake chef. Pancake patissier. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. <laughs>